this is the flexible fixture tool from Xtool. And they sent it to me and said it was just as good or better than a rotary, which I have my doubts about. So we're going to test it today. So the purpose is you can take wonky shaped objects. This is just a chunk of bronze I have from a casting I did. You can set it into the pins, lock it down, and then it gives you, it holds it. Because otherwise, if you try to set this up, it's just going to fall over. So we're going to put it into the fixture. We're going to lock it down. I'm going to throw it into the X-Tool F1 Ultra, and we're going to see if we can clean this top up. Now, because this is the F1 Ultra and X-Tool, I've got to use their software. They claim it works with light burn, but eh, I'm going to throw a square on here. We're going to engrave it. So first thing I'm going to do is I want to measure the material. I've got it with the blue dot and red dot there. So the machine's going to go and do its auto focusing. Now we're going to go over here and take a picture of the background. So we can see where our square is going to line up. Okay, square is way off. So using the arrow keys here to move this. That looks good to me. All right, it is an unknown material to the machine. Brass. I think actually technically this is bronze, but whatever, it's close enough. We click confirm. It's going to give us some settings. I'm going to change these settings. Process. I'm going to send it to the laser. Turn on my extractor fan. It's going to get noisy. I come over here to the control panel and hit the button and off it goes. Let's try it with something a little more practical. So let's put a ring in it. Do it this way. It's a little loose that way. Let's sort about this way. And if I do it diagonally. Yeah, it's not great, actually. Uh, it's not ideal, if I'm being honest. But it's holding it, so let's do the process. Let's auto-focus. Awesome, there we go. Take a picture. Cool, let's do some text. Let's do number one, Mom. <laughs> you know what? Let's do it in bloody, just because. We're going to change this from process on flat surface. We're going to do use Xtool built-in curve material. Material. Stainless steel. It is a stainless steel ring. We're going to engrave it. Oh, right. I got to click the button to do the curve measure. Click framing. That is massively wrong and closer. So it's about to here to the other side. I'm going to say that's good enough. I'm going to close this because the light will affect it. Okay, so this is just failing miserably. This is super freaking annoying. I mean, maybe I'm doing this wrong, but this is supposed to be super simple. So I'm going to say this is a fail. I'm not even going to bother. I'm wasting time at this point. So no, this is not good for a ring, even though Xtool says it is. Let's try this on a socket, and it failed. So just for testing, I threw this flashlight on here, which is black, to see if it was the reflective was being the issue. And it got like halfway through the process and then failed again. So... I'm talking about the curved surface process. Well, I finally managed to get something. So I have this colored stainless steel ring in here, and it says it processed. I am not convinced based on this depth map that it's going to look good. We're going to see what happens. Firm, that's all set. All right, process. Not convinced this is going to go well, but here we go. Hit the button. It kind of worked, but then it didn't. So, I mean, decent on top, but obviously it just does not have the same range of engraving that a rotary would. Overall, I think this is a fine idea and concept. And maybe if this was larger, you could do bigger items with it. But I'm going to have to say, it's, especially for the price, it's like half the price of a rotary. You might as well save the money and get a rotary. Thanks for watching.